Welcome to the Nav Viking tutorials. I'm Johannes Gudmundsson, founder of Anecta, a Microsoft Dynamics NAV Gold certified partner. Hello and welcome to the Coffee Mug tutorials. Uh, we're kind of flying a little bit all over the place, but dedicated to dive into uh, the details and um, we just finished up cash receipts. We're in progress with CRM. And actually in this session, I want to take a look at approvals. I had done an approval video, very short, really surface level. Uh, and now I would like to actually get a little bit more deeper into it with a series of uh, approval videos in 2018. So right here, I actually am logged in as Paul and I am also logged in as my demo account. So the idea behind this is that if I go into the approval uh, user, user setup here, uh, I've actually set up um, two users in the approval group. And I have uh, Paul um, who is sending approvals to demo. Demo is the approver and demo has unlimited approval rights so this simple chain basically means that uh, if i'm paul i send the, i'm sending a document a sales order for an approval it will pop up on on demo as a document to approve uh, demo will approve or, or reject and it'll come back to paul um, so right now for this video i'm just gonna display that sequence and uh in the next one i'm going to dive into the details of what you know template we're using and and you know what are the parameters for approval so um let me go ahead and make sure that i am paul which is this one here go into sales orders and just create a new one very quick one um, to the canon group right so oops and uh go here for the paris guest here 10 pieces two thousand dollars and so here i am instead of releasing it which i would normally do i have to send an approval request so I'll go for that and it says an approval request has been sent the reason why this worked is because i've activated a template uh, for the sales orders uh, which is going to interact with these users. All right, so I close that out. And now I'm going to take a look at demo. And if I go in here, I can actually see on my role center that I have sales orders pending approval right here. There's one. So if I get into that, uh, I can see the Canon Group uh, sales order. I can see details on this sales order. And uh, if I want to actually take a look at it in particular, I can open it up. And here I have the options of approve, reject, or delegate it to someone else. And I'm quite happy with this, so I'm just going to approve it. It disappears from here. And now it is approved on Paul's site. So he can go ahead and continue with uh, the sales order. So that was a simple approval setup for sales. Like I said, this is the first of a series, so I'm going to dive into how we actually set it up and, and play with it a little bit. Um, so stay tuned for more on this topic. Thank you.